Hello everybody, welcome back. My name is Eugene. Today I'll be helping you out to understand human ear better. So I've prepared exercises for you as well. If you wish to download, please click at the link in the description box below. So without further ado, let's go. Okay. So we will be starting off with labelings. So your ears are being separated into three sections, which is the outer ear, middle ear, and inner ear, as you can see labeled above already. Okay. So outer ear consists of two parts, which is the earlobe, right? And ear canal. Okay. That's it. Middle part of the ear consists of four parts, eardrum, ossicles, oval window, and eustachian tube, okay? And inner ear consists of three parts. We have semicircular canal, auditory nerve, which connects to the brain and cochlea. So it's actually not very difficult if you go through the steps. So we have two, four, three, two parts, four parts, three parts, okay? No problem. Okay, so let me quickly show you through um, the 3D uh, version of your ear. Okay, so starting off with the outermost part, which is called the pina, or sometimes we might call uh, the earlobe. Okay, so next will be your ear canal or auditory canal. Okay, and this is where your all your ear wax is, like you try to dig your ear. Okay, this is the part. Right, moving into your eardrums, okay, we are at the middle ear at the moment, okay. No problem, eardrums, let's get a closer look. Okay, eardrums, yeah, and then to the ossicles, we're still in the middle ear, ossicles, okay, ossicles. Right, then we have oval window, which is this little part here, oval window, okay? And we have eustachian tube. Let's take a look. Eustachian tube, okay? Right, that's the middle ear. So inner ear, we have three parts, okay? We have cochlea, right, cochlea. Okay, then we have semicircular canal, semicircular canal, the weird looking circles. Okay, and we have um, nerve to the brain, right? That's the three parts in the inner ear. There you go. It's actually not very difficult if you, you know, have a better idea of how the sequence is. Okay, so I hope you get a big, better picture of how your ear looks like in a 3D version, right? Okay, let's get back to our material. Now, um, we're done with the labelings, no problem. Let's get into the function. So, uh, ear loop is actually to collect and direct sound wave into the ear canal, okay? So this work like, a, you know, if you extend your hand uh, in this way, you can actually hear yourself or hear anything better. That's, that's actually like an extension of your Earlobe. So this kind of structures right, actually helps you to collect sound and direct into your ear. Okay, ear canal, that's to further concentrate the sound and direct to your eardrum. So we're in the middle ear at the moment. So eardrum, that's to change sound wave into vibration. Okay, vibrate according to the frequency of the sound and then transfer vibration to the bones, the ossicles. So there you go. Ossicles, that's to make vibration um, louder or vibration bigger or amplify the vibration so you could transfer further into the inner ear. Okay, then over window also to continue the vibration, collect and transfer vibration to the inner ear, which is the cochlea. So cochlea consists of fluid, there's a lot of liquid inside, okay, and when it vibrates, right, the liquid will vibrate and the little tiny hair inside which will also vibrate and to create nerve impulses by you know by dancing okay right so to detect 
uh, and convert vibration into nerve impulses. So when we're at inner ear now, uh, vibration has finally converted into um, nerve impulses. Okay, semicircular canal uh, is to detect the position of the head and also for body balance. Okay, so this is one of the part that uh, the snot actually involve in mechanism of hearing which i skipped your station tube just now but i'll come back later okay so auditory nerve that's to send nerve impulses to the brain okay so out of all these parts right there's actually two parts that are not involved in hearing mechanism which is eustachian tube and semicircular canal eustachian tube this one and semicircular canal they are they are in your ear i understand but they are not involved in hearing okay so what are their function eustachian tube is to balance uh, your air pressure which is to equalize your air pressure especially when you go to somewhere that is high uh, for example taking lift to um, 30th floor right you have to pop your ears remember the feeling where you have to like you have to you have to force your ears to pop right uh, but not in a bad way like do it um, slowly and gently uh, that's to balance up the pressure in your head and the outside of your head that's the function of uh, eustachian tube okay auditory nerve uh, no semicircular canal that's to detect the position of your head it's almost like a gyroscope in your phone you know especially when you play games like racing car and all that you tilt your phone uh, that's actually almost like um, our semicircular canal right uh, Imagine that into your head. That thing in your ears actually to know where your head is. If if you are like the ballet or you're doing a handstand or you're falling down, um, your semicircular canal actually gets to detect and give you the feeling of your head is not being balanced well. Okay, so that's to help in body balance and you know posture and whatever you do that involves balancing and movement. Okay, no problem. All right, there you go. That's all the three segments of the ear. Okay, mechanism of hearing. So how sound wave enter your ear, right? So this is the sequence, same as the eye we did um, previously. If you have not watched, please go ahead. Uh, the older videos, right? So sound enter first to your earlobe. So we're still at sound wave at the moment. Okay, follow the arrow if you want to. Okay, into ear canal, into ear canal, okay, we're still at sound wave and hits the eardrum and eardrum will start to vibrate. So now we've converted sound into vibration. Okay, then into the three little bones called the ossicles. Okay, so ossicles, still vibration, amplify the vibration and to over window, it's just a part in your ear to pass vibration into your inner ear. So now when we are at cochlea, vibration will be converted into nerve impulses because cochlea consists of fluid. Fluid will actually vibrate together and it changes vibration into nerve impulses. Then transfer to auditory nerve and to the brain. That's the whole sequence. So actually not very difficult. Go through this a few times and you'll be able to remember them in no time. Okay, no problem. All right, that's it. And I think the last will be related to hearing will be limitation of hearing. So human um, hearing range is 20 to 20,000 Hertz, which you already learned in form two, I guess chapter eight, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, as you age, your hearing range will decrease because elasticity of eardrum decreases. Okay, um, that means no longer 20 to 20,000, maybe like a narrower, like a 50 to maybe like a 15,000. Okay, so narrower. So what are the hearing aids that we can have to overcome limitations? So we have three here. Uh, so for example, if you, if, you can't, if you can't hear your friend talking bad about you in his heart, use stethoscope and hear to his heart. Okay, or if you can't hear even your friend talking bad about you in front of you or beside you, wear hearing aids. Or your friend is talking bad about you from far, uh, maybe ask your friend to use a megaphone so you could hear. You get the point. So anyway, this is for a doctor to listen to the patient's heartbeat, to listen to very small sound, 
Uh, hearing aid is actually to amplify sound that enters the ear, which is for old people usually, or people with born with hearing problems. Uh, megaphone, pretty sure you know. That's to amplify the sound from a distance. Okay. Now, we could get hearing loss. Yeah, be different kinds of uh, reasons. So hearing loss basically means partial or maybe total inability to hear. Okay, with either one ear or even both ears. So it could be different reasons, could be infection, could be injury, due to accident, could be aging, like I mentioned earlier, uh, or long-term exposure to noise. If you like to listen to loud music or you stay near to construction site, that could be bad for your ears. Or sudden exposure to loud noise like explosion, okay? Those could cause hearing loss. So um, break it down into parts. If it's the outer ear, it could be the ear canal, pina, not much problem can happen. So ear canal may be uh, clogged okay, by earwax or whatever substance that is clogged, so clean it. If it's eardrum problem, middle ear, eardrum problem, uh, medicine or surgery. So this one very important, so you must remember how to solve the problem. Okay, And inner ear, we have cochlea. Uh, actually, nothing much you can do about cochlea, but to implant, change a cochlea, okay? And if it's auditory nerve, um, sorry, no cure. <laughs> nah, nothing we can do about it. It's the, it's the nerve that is damaged, okay? No problem. Okay, so yeah, take a look at um, how you protect your ear. There's some very um, general answers or very usual thing that our parents tell us. Okay, so take a look. And last but not least, stereophonic hearing. Now, stereophonic hearing, the word stereo basically means two. Stereo, you know, like mono speakers and stereo speakers. So stereo means two. Hearing with both ears. I mean, to you might be like, what are you talking about? Of course, of course we hear with both ears. Lah. Have you tried hearing with one ear? Try and close one side of your ear. Your world will change. Okay, the the... The sound that you're listening, it's no longer like how you hear with two ears. Hearing with two ears enable you to determine the direction of sound. For example, your mom calls you from behind. Ah, boy! You'd be like, oh, from behind, right? You wouldn't turn to like upstairs, like, Wait, or down, or like front. You know where the sound comes from. So that's hearing with two ears. Okay? So for animal, it will be, uh, you know, finding their food, enable predator to determine the location of the prey and also to enable prey to detect location of the predator so they could escape. Okay, so for human, that's for us to determine direction of sound. How does it work? Like how can we actually determine left or right or where the sound comes from? So there is some uh, Calculation going on in your ears to know uh, the timing and direction. So this is how it works. And this is also how you should explain. Okay. So number one, the ear that is closer to the source of the sound. For example, your mom is calling you from your left side. So your left ear is closer to your mom, right? Mom's voice. So then we will detect the sound earlier and louder than the right ear. Correct? Make sense? So then, uh, uh, so when your mom says, ah boy, so the left ear will, ah boy, first then the right ear only, ah boy, I mean, just to slow things down for you to understand. So then uh, the difference in timing, your brain will do the calculation, uh, then we'll know like, oh, okay, it's from the left. So the brain interpret differences in terms of time, loudness, and that enable us to determine the direction of sound. Now, this is a very important explanation which you need to know and uh, maybe memorize on how to explain because when a question asks about stereophonic, this is the sentence that you should have. So the main point is the ear that is closer to the source of sound detects sound slightly earlier and louder. Okay, brain interpret the differences of time and loudness so we can determine the direction or the location of the sound. Okay. That's it. This is pretty much about the uh, ear topic of your Form 3 Chapter 1. Okay, so let's take a look at some exercise. Again, uh, if you need to, please download at the link 
below in the description box okay let's get right into it so labeling i guess i'll leave it to you, you should be able to do it once you have um, gone through all the labelings for yourself i think we start off with some functions okay so ossicles function right ossicles are the three little bones right okay that's to amplify the sound so let's get into it auditory nerve auditory nerve is your nerve to your brain that's basically to send impulses to the brain i guess reduce nerve impulses cochlea cochlea is like the snail shaped looking thingy that's um, something where it consists of fluid it, it transfer or it combine no i mean uh it convert uh, vibration into nerve impulses so do we have keywords like that yeah there you go okay uh send some vibration from oh no 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 that's the over window though my mistake guys <laughs> cochlea is to uh it passes from cochlea to the brain yeah there you go okay so over window that's after the ossicles that's to transfer to cochlea the last one which i did wrong just now you station tube nothing to do with hearing that's to equalize um air pressure yeah very straightforward all right next one question number two Diagram shows the use of mobile phone to deliver information. Okay, okay. Um, so question is based on the diagram. Arrange the following statement. Describe the ah uh, mechanism of hearing. Remember the sequence starting from your earlobe all the way into ear cano and so on. Okay, let's see what do we have. So the first part is your earlobe, lah, or we should say the pina. Lah. So let's find keywords instead of you know reading the whole thing. So. Uh, I found the word Pina, so I'm guessing this is number one. Okay. Um, after Pina, it goes into your ear canal, right? Let's find. Do we have ear canal? Auditory canal. There you go. Okay. So number two. All right. After auditory canal, it goes to your eardrum. Do we find eardrum? Hmm. There you go. Eardrum. Okay. After eardrum, it goes into your ossicles. Do we find ossicles? There you go, ossicles. Okay, right. And followed by the ossicles, it will be your over window. So, got it? Over window, number five. Okay, after over window, it will be your cochlea. There you go, number six, and hence number seven. Okay, no problem. There you go. Easy. Mechanism of sound, right? Mechanism of hearing. Okay, number three. The diagram below shows the gymnast rotating her body during uh, rhythmic gymnastic competition. Okay, so why? We'll talk about hearing. Why suddenly about gymnastic? So I'm guessing it's the part where it's not involved in hearing. So question is, name the part involved in the movement. So this kind of movement requires balance, right? So the part that controls your body balance and know where you're position your head is it will be semi-circular cano okay is the part involved in hearing no there's two parts remember semi-circular cano and eustachian tube is not involved all right good number four okay um labelings as usual so no problem p is eardrum q is cochlea already for you Function, please go ahead and copy. Okay, you may get back to the video, pause and copy down the function of eardrum and cochlea. Or it's in your textbook anyways. Don't worry. Okay. C. Now, while sleeping, Azam was started uh, by the great sound of alarm. So, three shocked and woke up. Okay. So, explain briefly how Azam's ear hears the sound through. Oh, the sequence. Uh, this one. Uh, this one. The whole thing. I mean, but accommodate to this question. So for three marks though. Okay, let's recall the sequence. So start off with your pina, collect the sound, right? Then direct into your ear canal. Ear canal will transfer vibration to the uh, tra transfer sound wave, sorry, the eardrum and eardrum convert sound into vibration and send it to ossicles to amplify send it to over window and over window will transfer to cochlea cochlea will transfer impulse to a nerve pretty much like that okay so it's a long one so i'm just going to show you all right azam ear pina see got that okay collect and direct sound 
uh, to the eardrop through ear canal. See, we have all the parts mentioned here, very important. Eardrum will vibrate, vibrate, very important keyword, and amplify by ossicles. Okay, and transfer to the cochlea through over window. See, we're mentioning. So if you're thinking, well, wow, I cannot form sentences like that, leh. then never mind. Make it short and simple, full stop, and start a new one, and full stop, and start a new one. Okay, nerve uh, in a cochlea convert sound vibration into nerve impulses, so cochlea changes vibration into nerve impulses, and then uh, send it to the auditory nerve, and it goes to the brain. This kind of sentence or this kind of question really takes uh, practice. Like you don't expect you could remember everything one shot. You have to write a few times maybe to get into your memory. Okay, so um, don't worry about if your English sentence is not good. Uh, the main thing is whether you have the main points or not, which is what teacher is looking for. Okay, right. Next one. Uh, suggest one way to fix hearing if Q is damaged. So what was Q again? Uh, Cochlea is damaged, so there's nothing much we can do about it, but to carry out cochlear implant. We follow what textbook wants, okay? No problem. Okay, guys, I hope the video helped uh, so you could have a better understanding of how um, the human eye is. So if you like the video, consider to subscribe and uh, give me a thumbs up and share to your friends so everyone could benefit together. So I guess I will see you in the next video. See you guys. Bye.